in this module, we're going to be looking at finding genes that correlate with a specific gene of interest. So for this example, we're going to be looking at the neuroblastoma dataset consisting of 88 tumors and run on the U133P2 Affymetrix expression array platform. Uh, under the selection type of analysis, we will choose find correlated genes with a single gene. And on the next page, we will again use the gene uh, MIGN for our example. Just enter it here and choose the corresponding um, probe that belongs to the gene. Uh, and we're going to leave the, those settings the way they are. Uh, but a couple of settings uh, that can be pointed out is that you can choose, for instance, a certain uh, significance value based on the p-value associated with the Pearson correlation. You can also choose whether to correct for multiple testing uh, or not, uh, which we also discussed in the single gene view module, as well as you can select the direction of correlation. So currently it is set to both positive and negative correlation uh, with your gene of interest. Uh, however, you can also set it to solely positive or negative correlation. Um, so uh, we can, for example, change the p-value to 0, 0, 001 um, and leaving the rest of the settings the way they are, we can click Submit. And this will now calculate uh, all correlations for all of the different genes with your specific gene of interest. Uh, so what you can see here is we have now been presented with two different tables, a table on the left which presents the positive, uh, positively correlated genes. As you can see, MICN is most positively correlated with itself. Uh, and you can see both the Pearson correlation uh, coefficient R are presented as well as the corresponding uh, p-value or significance value. Um, so on the left we have the positive correlation uh, genes and we can select any one of these and by clicking on the gene symbol we are then presented with uh, a two gene view which we will discuss in the two gene view module but this shows the expression of both genes as well as prevent, uh, presenting their correlation and uh, significance value. Uh, so going back to the correlation lists, you can see that on the right you are presented with a number of additional analyses that you can apply to the correlation gene lists that you've been supplied. Uh, for instance, you can do a gene ontology analysis, which we can have a look at here, so it'll pop up in a separate window. It just takes a few seconds to run, especially when you have such a large number of genes that are differentially expressed. What you can see here is that you're presented with a list of different gene ontologies, uh, which are described here under the uh, gene ontology ID, uh, along with um, statistical significance values or p-values, as well as the genes that are uh, enriched within the specific ontology. What you will notice is that they're split up in both positive and negative correlations to your gene of interest. In this case, it, again, it was MICN. Uh, so uh, these gene lists or that are included within the ontologies include both uh, the positive and negative uh, genes that are correlated with uh, your gene of interest. If you instead just want to look at the genes that are positively correlated with your gene of interest, you can again click on the top link which brings you down to the adjustable settings and here uh, you can select to only look at for instance the positively correlated genes and then redo the analysis on just these genes and again you will be presented with the results of uh, the specific gene ontologies that are positively correlated uh, with uh, your gene of interest. As you can see, there are a large number of gene ontologies uh, that you are presented with here, and you may want to limit uh, the number of ontologies that you're looking in. So again, we're going to uh, bring ourselves down to the adjustable settings, and here we will remain looking at the positive correlations. However, instead of looking at all gene ontologies that we can, we're going to look specifically at biological processes, for instance. And then again, you can redo the analysis, and now you're presented with the results that are both positively correlated with your gene of interest and specifically looking at gene ontologies uh, that are um, biological processes. We will discuss more details on the gene ontology analyses uh, within the gene ontology analysis section uh, of differential gene expression. So in the example we've looked at here, um, we've looked at how all genes in a specific data set correlate with your specific gene of interest. 
However, you may want to do more specified analyses. Uh, so in order to do this, uh, we're going to return to the main page uh, and we're uh, again going to select um, find correlated genes with a single gene um, and click next. And then we're going to again select MCN, select the probe. For now, we can leave the other settings as they are, um, except for that we are going to add a gene um, filter and look at a specific gene set and how it correlates with our gene of interest, in our case, uh, MCN. So this time we're going to look under uh, gene ontologies um, and we're going to select um, a biological process as the main gene ontology and then under biological process again it then changes into a new menu uh, and we're going to select for for example cell proliferation click submit and what this will now do is it will uh, look at the genes that were uh, included in the gene ontology cell proliferation and how these genes correlate with your specific gene of interest in our case uh, MCN uh, you are again presented with uh, the two different uh, gene lists, both uh, positively correlated and uh, negatively correlated uh, with your specific gene. And here you can now see that uh, 419 out of the 1747 genes that were looked at uh, did meet our criteria, being significantly correlated with our gene and again. Uh, again, you can see on the right that there are other options for additional analyses that you can apply to these uh, gene lists. Uh, and one of the interesting ones that you can look at when you have these smaller gene sets is you might want to see how they look like on a heat map in your samples. So we can click on heat map and we will be presented with a plot of both the negatively correlated genes and positively correlated genes with your specific gene of interest and how they look in this data set. Uh, so you can see here, for instance, that the genes that are uh, marked in red here seem to have their highest expression in the subset of tumors that are MCN amplified. You can also see that you do have a subset of tumors that are MCN non-amplified that also seem to have uh, similar expression uh, of, of these specific genes, which may indicate that they could be um, patients that are interesting to look at. So these are just a few examples of the analyses that you can perform on a correlation gene list to your specific gene of interest. And of course, you have multiple options here on the right that we have not discussed, and we will go into further detail in, in further uh, modules. Um, for instance, storing results as gene categories uh, or saving your specific selection as text files that you can then work with on your own computer. Mm -hmm.